SGC here and we are back with this guy and this is a before and after for cargo this country changing sick we all get sick you get sick too starring Martin Freeman and other people it's directed yeah, by Martin Freeman Martin Freeman. Oh, I think it's Morgan Freeman. Is that why you said yes to this movie? <laughs> well, too right, late. Guy, too guy, late, too late. Short. Anyway, it's directed by Ben Howling. That's a badass last name. Howling. Ow. And then Yolanda Ram Ramke. Ramke? Ramke? She's probably Russian. And both of them are new time uh, directors, first time directors. They have pretty directed impressive, shorts. Pretty impressive. And uh, yeah, but this is on In Netflix. Uh, it's one of those probably like post apocalyptic zombie films where it's like. Kind of sad and reminiscent because the wife is gone or the wife is dying, and then Martin Freeman when she and turned into the a kid. And he has to kill her. One of the two. Yeah, one of those two. But it's yeah. gonna be exciting because we uh, we got ice cream and sugar while we watch this. Uh, it's true. Horror film. Will be falling asleep. Anyway, so uh, I'm excited. Martin Freeman. Even though he was expecting Morgan Freeman, which now yeah. that you talk about it, I would definitely watch a it's Morgan, true. Freeman Morgan Freeman in a zombie, zombie film. I mean, Martin Freeman in a zombie film, pretty good, right? Pretty good. But Morgan going from Freeman? Watson to zombies, so should yeah. be pretty good. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I mean, Martin Freeman being the only guy, I don't know who the woman is. And yeah, the kid's probably a no name kid. But, anyways, zombies. I wonder how much zombies are gonna be, how much guts. That's true. And it's on Netflix, so. I don't mind gore, but I don't like scary films, so I might cry. Yeah. You'll laugh at me. I I'm will. Anyways, this is the before, and this is after! <laughs> Ta da! Yeah, so that was different. Um, we talked about this, so it's like speed round. Good cinematography, good performance, decent story, I guess. Mm -hmm. For low budget film, yeah, um, they made tasteful choices. You could tell that it was low budget, and they had to make certain cuts because of that. But, but it was done well. It was done well. Um, a little too much drone footage, which you could tell again was because it was low budget. So they tried to suck in as much as that drone footage, but it became distracting because yeah. almost every other shot seemed like it was. A drone, and then we're walking. You were talking drone, about... walking, drone. Yeah. What was I talking about? You were mentioning how like there wasn't any change of landscape. Oh yeah, well, so especially just, with yeah, the drone. Yeah, footage. so it just felt like there was no. It was just like we're moving, but where are you going? Like, I'm just thinking of like Lord of the Rings, where they use this like crazy establishing shots, and it's like oh snow, mm -hmm. plains, town. So it's like you feel like they're moving, but here just like playing a little bit trees. Playing, mm -hmm. but it's just like where and then at the end we get like the return of big and it's like why are you here but i get why you're here because we need to use add you. some tension but just kind of appears out of nowhere yeah. um i like the world the world building in this in the sense where it's like you don't know where what happened like mm -hmm. it just happened like there's no timeline i think the only time you mentioned time was like a few weeks ago but it's like like the, is that when the outbreak happened? Yeah. Or I loved how it was Australia, that. so that's different. Mm -hmm. um, I liked how there was um, Etta, so it was like her hospital sort of culture, and then Vic's culture. So you have this like caricatures of these like typical, mm -hmm. atypical characters in a zombie world. Mm -hmm. Like granted, they're just caricatures, and you can go like, oh, there could have been more people, but I feel like you know, low budget. Mm -hmm. You just gotta cast the bare minimum, and I think it worked well. And I think. Just, just yeah. Like you're saying, the cuts, cuts of a were good. Blocking was good. Yeah, I felt like they great. made some smart choices yeah. with the zombies and that. A yeah. lot of the zombie films are they're exactly the same. The zombies are yeah. frantic, moving, but this one they they I think they did a few different things where like there was a very specific 48 hour yeah. timeline, and they everyone had like a kit of like this yeah. is what happens if you're infected. These are the procedures that you can kind of basically do to mitigate your last 48 hours to basically protect you from others which was mm -hmm. kind of cool and then just the behavior of the zombies like they would still go after people but some interesting choices like ostrich burying their head in the mm -hmm. sand or like hibernating against a wall so i thought that was kind of interesting but in a good way yeah and it's i guess like it's interesting but at the same time 
I felt like if they had a bit more money, they can play around with the concept a bit more. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, there was a lack of tension at the same time with the daughter. Like how Martin Freeman being dad, like as he's turning, there's never a real moment where you're like, oh my god, the daughter's gonna die or is in danger. And I feel like I can sort of say that for the zombies, like the like the, the ostrich thing and the, mm -hmm. the darkness thing, but there was no tension. Like they're just there. Yeah, you and never then, really felt like they were actually gonna get attacked. Like. Yeah. That there was... Because, like, you watch Train of Busan? I have not. Okay, so there's also a darkness scene, and then they used, like, like it, it's used well. Because mm -hmm. they're like, oh no, what's going to happen? You know what happens when something happens, so you, you, there's tension, but mm -hmm. here it's just like, oh, they're hibernating, and you're just like, you were saying, like, don't, like, stop shining your flashlight, and then nothing happens. So yeah. I sort of wish something happened, like, it would be very, like... I saw that coming a mile away, but at least at the same time there's like a payoff as yeah, to like, yeah, they're, hy they're hy hibernating, but, but then nothing happens. But I mean, overall, I mean, like you were saying, like how did Martin Freeman get the script? I think that's a very interesting thing to ponder about, like new directors and just... Um, how does it make its way up the chain yeah, to, right. to get a pretty top grade actor? And again, the performance was great. Um, I know like with the end scene, I felt sad because it was like, oh, like you knew it was coming, but... When it face, I, yeah, when it finally happened, I still feel like they did manage to capture that a moment, and it was subtle. And I think maybe my Hollywood side wants maybe a little more like pop, pop, pop tension action, but this was a little more drawn out, which maybe was a little too drawn out. They could have cut out some of the walking scenes, but at the same time, it was there was a subtle sweetness, almost gentleness to the, yeah. how the movie ended out, which I thought was, was well Especially captured. like the contrast between him and his wife, how they both, like, mm. like how, how his wife ended. And yeah, how versus he ended. how he ended, yeah. And I think like you're saying, yeah, if, if this movie was 90 minutes, I think it would be a lot better, because it's 144. Yeah. One hour and 44 minutes, it was like one hour, it was like, yeah, one hour and 30 minutes, I think that would have helped cut out all the walking scenes. Yeah. Not all, but just like, the a fair redundant few. ones. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So it was enjoyable. So good job, first time directors. And uh, for writing it at the same time. So that's always a plus when you direct it, right? So, anyway, that's it. Good job, Martin Freeman. And also, the Oscar goes to the best. I don't know how many babies there were. Did you notice how many babies there are? I didn't. I felt like it was pretty consistent that it was one girl. Obviously, on the. Yeah, probably quite a few. But yeah, they did good. And um, yeah, I, I just loved, like, there's so much baby in this. So I swear, like, their budget probably went to the baby. Because there's so much subtle, like, little movement that she does. Mm. And it's like, how long did it take for them to get that specific shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it, just, it was just cute. Like, yeah, I think, I think... Normally you're like, oh my goodness, a baby in a zombie film? That makes no sense. But she has her own character, and I, th I think that, like, in the drawn outness that it slowly comes out, like, what kind of baby she is, and you sort of see more of her. And I think, sort of, when, when you finally see her more, you see him more changing, and you're like, oh no, like, she's growing, and, but he's growing in another way, and they're yeah. getting separated. Yeah, because like I think in the beginning you don't see her as much because you see. I feel her. like she cries a lot. Yeah. I felt like yeah near the end of the film you start to see a bit more than crying, but at least for me on the flip side of it I felt like she spent the majority of the film crying, yeah. but she was in a backpack for ninety percent of the film, which would be uncomfortable for any girl, and she was probably only a year or two old. So yeah. in that regards they rolled well with it because that would be incredibly difficult working with a child that's legitimately crying. Yeah. And then being like, how do we work this into the film? But in you the case walk. of the... Walk. Yeah, you just keep walking. <laughs> in the words of Dory, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Or crying. Or crying. Anyway, so yeah, it was, it was kind of a nice sort of like a detract from their typical zombie genre. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of reminds me of like the recent zombie stuff that we've been having. Like more bodies. Train to Busan is different because it's a Korean Hollywood thing. I mean, Korean, not Hollywood. But um, yeah, so it's just nice to see sort of these different zombie genres anyways um yeah that's it netflix good job i guess nothing else to say thanks for watching go get some popcorn go yeah and that is it for this before and after of cargo later